Hello dear friends, welcome again to Shiksha Mantra and today also we are going to discuss about that point what we have already declared in our last discussion. Yes dear friends, today also we are in our discussion of degrees of comparison but what's the discussion? Why I am here to discuss the degrees of comparison and what's the tricky thing that we learned here? Obviously, I'm going to tell you, but before that, you have to read what's written in the board. Yes, dear friends, it's, it's very vital. Just read out these two sentences. What does they say? He is braver than his brother. This is the first sentence. And in the second sentence, it's said, he is more brave than prudent. Is it confusing? Have you ever seen any such sentences or if you have, are you sure that these two sentences are correct or any one of these two sentences is correct and the other is incorrect. The point is very simple. For brave, once we are using brava and then we are using more brave. Brave, you know it. It's a monosyllabic adjective. So its form would be breva. But why more brave? Is it possible that we get breva and more brave those two words, those two expressions for comparative? Now the consideration is whether these two sentences are right or wrong. If you ask me, my answer will be tensed. You are sure that the second one will be wrong now. The first one is right, it's correct, and the second one is wrong. Are you sure now? It's not my consideration. It's not my answer. I haven't answered yet. I have only had a wild guess. Probably that would be your answer. But what's my answer? I'm going to deliver here. My answer is both are correct. Braver and more brave. Both the expressions, both the words, both the comparatives are correct. Now what the question arises? The question is how are they correct? How they are used correctly with two different words, with two different expressions. So let's discuss it and find out how they are different. So here, if we get the first point, my point is very simple. Just have a look. This is a very, very important point that I'm going to tell here regarding degrees of comparison. When you are in degrees of comparison, you have to find out which one is the key here and what is compared with this. So the two points of, com cons of, of comparison is very much, very much important. First, you have to find it out. Which one is compared with what? So here, brave, this is the points of comparison. And who is brave? He. And whose brevity is compared? His brother. So these are the two points of comparison. One, he, and two, his brother. So it's a comparison between two noun, he and his brother. So it follows the simple rules of comparative degree. That's why it would be prefer. Now, sit to the next sentence. What is the points of comparison here? He, this is the subject, this is the subject of the sentence, he is the verb and he is its subject. But here, this noun is not compared with any other noun, you won't get any. He is more brave than prudent. Brave, this is an adjective and prudent, this is another adjective. So two adjectives are there. And the comparison is between adjective 1 and adjective 2. 
not like this noun one and noun two so in the first sentence we have the comparison between he and his brother between two nouns but here the comparison is between two adjectives brave is compared with prudent and the noun is single so here the adjective is single and the same adjective is considered with two different nouns that's why brevo is the correct option here but in the second sentence actually there's a single noun and these two adjectives these two quality brave and prudent it goes with the same noun that's he that's why here we have to use more brave and not breva so single noun double adjective comparison obviously it would be more brave but single adjective brave and double noun he and his brother here we use breva so that's the trick and you have to remember it it's very vital most of the time you don't consider these points that's why you get confused but english grammar is such such a very simple subject with with such fixed rules that you have every option to learn them and get confident it's all about confidence there's nothing to get confused of when you learn these rules by heart like this and we are here to provide you all such rules which are associated with your exam with which you can build your confidence in english grammar so stay tuned with us hit the bell icon hard with subscription button if you have stumbled upon this channel for the very first time and if you are already with us for a long time stay with us we are going to discuss many such points many such grammatical trick here in shiksha mantra so we are returning very soon till then bye bye Happy learning.